Hello. <laughs> so. I'm gonna make camera shy. So, um, long time no see. <laughs> Not really. It's been like mm, a week, maybe less than. I don't. When did I last film? I don't know. Anyways, right now I am going to Chick fil A. <laughs> I really want a frosted coffee. Uh, do I need that? No. The dog's rolling in the grass. Let's talk about frosted coffees. Mm. It's pretty much just sugar and yeah, that's that's enough said. That's pretty much what it is. We're just gonna get right into the video because I don't really have much to say about it, honestly. Today we're going to be talking about stories of what I did in elementary school i don't know what i'm gonna title this but you'll it's that we're gonna be embarrassing stories funny stories sad stories i forgot to say that i'm gonna be creating a mood board while i'm doing this because i think i'm gonna be awkward if i'm just sitting there honestly that's honestly the reason why so <laughs> to start off um i printed out some like cute like picture and um i didn't realize my printer was broken so they all kind of um yeah so i'm editing right now and i'm really sorry for how bad quality these are just uh bear with me came out like that but we're gonna use them anyways because i don't really have anything else so while i cut these out let me just tell you the first story uh, <laughs> I'm gonna tell you my favorite one for- okay, well, I don't want to say favorite because I don't want people coming for me in the comments saying, you're so mean. I was- I was a little kid, so just remember all this. I've grown since then, hopefully physically and mentally. For the first story, there was this girl in my class, and me and my best friend did not like her because she was annoying. I'm gonna call my best friend milkshake i don't know why i just i'm gonna call her that and the girl we didn't like i'm going to call her grasshopper these are completely random words they have nothing to do with the people so don't try to make assumptions anyways so one day this girl was playing with us on the playground she told us that her and her boyfriend were getting married this is probably like i want to say third grade so it's like one of those things where it's like, yeah, we're getting married because like you don't know what that means in third grade, you know? She was like, will you guys be my bridesmaids? And we're like, of course we'll be your bridesmaids. She was like, okay, let's go get ready. We were going to do her hair for her, for her wedding. Being the sweet little child I was, I went out and was finding flowers for her hair while Milkshake braided it. I was looking for flowers and when I found flowers, I found a dead cockroach. Now you probably already know where this goes from here. I'm like, oh my gosh, I found the perfect thing for your hair. And she's like, great, okay, put the flowers in. I was like, mm -hmm, okay. While I'm putting the flowers in, I put this dead roach in her hair. And me and Milkshake are like dying laughing. We thought it was the funniest thing in the entire world. We're evil. Anyways, I got a referral for that, so. Which I deserved, but uh, come on, that's a little. It was funny, it was funny. <laughs> the next story I have is with the same girl, my best friend, Milkshake. She convinced me it would be fine if we just skipped school. This is elementary school, by the way. It's not like I really knew what skipping was. She was like, yeah, like we have the option to go to class. Like she told me it was an option or we could go play on the playground. And of course, like I'm gonna choose go play on the playground because <laughs> I'm a little kid. This is probably around like third or fourth grade as well. So me and her um, go and we're playing on the playground. There's like a class of fifth graders or fourth graders or something. And as we're playing, this teacher comes up to us and is like, <laughs> 
what are you guys doing? And we're just like, we're just playing, you know, like, we're just chilling. She's like, you're not allowed to do that. My little third grade self was like, what? Milkshake over here told me this was fine. So yeah, we got referrals for that one. Break from the stories. I wanted to show you some of these little things. So I got this one. Uh, it says Gorals from Despicable Me because you know, I'm a quirky Goral. This one is Kern Cables. And then I got a little YouTube thing for like you guys or whatever. This is Timothy Chalamet. Enough said about that one. Stupid little like beachy things. This one says, I can't, but like the scissors are like cutting off the tea. So it's like, I can. Yeah. If Cinderella's shoe fit perfectly, then why did it fall off? I just thought that was like really silly because like I've never heard that before. I'm just gonna tape them on because I'm lazy. So this next story, again, has to do with milkshake. One day we were in the bathroom at lunch. She was in the stall next to me. She was like, hey, Heather, um, I'm out of toilet paper. Like, could you help a little girl out and give me some? So I roll a roll of toilet paper under the stall door and she gets some and then rolls it back. And for some reason, I thought it was the funniest thing. So I rolled it back and then she rolled it and then we just kept like rolling it back and forth. And eventually we got out of the bathroom, well out of the stall, and we took all these toilet paper rolls and we're just throwing them everywhere, just like teeping the whole bathroom. And we're like dying laughing because we just thought it was the greatest, funniest thing ever. And um, eventually a patrol comes in and <laughs> she goes, um, what are you guys doing? And we start bawling, crying because at this point we knew that we had messed up. She goes, I'm telling the teachers and we're like, please, no, no, no. Like we'll do anything. Yeah. She went and told the teachers and we got a referral. So one day we were in the bathroom again and she found this silver bracelet on the floor and she was like hey do you want this it's like super cute i was like yeah i want that so she gives it to me i'm wearing it you know around and this girl sees me and she was like that's my bracelet and i was like girl stop i found this not yours she's like that was in my backpack. You stole it. I was like, whoa. I did not steal anything. This girl goes and tells the teacher on me for stealing her bracelet. I got another referral. All right, so yeah, there's my mood board. Hope you guys liked it. And I hope you guys enjoyed all my little stories. Sorry I didn't have more for you guys. I was pretty bad in school when I was a little kid for some reason. I just, I was rebellious, you know? If I think of any more stories, maybe I'll do a part two if you guys liked this. I actually have to go to the dentist, so.